Yo people, I'm back and I'm going to Slovenia today. But we're going to an event called Connections Adventure and I'm really excited because we're going to do really cool experiences. It's just on my taxi so I've got to go. Um, but yeah, then I'm going to Gatwick Express, get the plane to Slovenia. I'll be there by four o'clock going out with some of the guys I know from the tourist board there. And it's going to be a good time. It's um, at the airport now and I'm about to get some food. Basically this happened last night. I literally dropped my phone from half a metre and destroyed it. Just before I go away. So... Not good. Uh, we're working. So we've just got to Liviana, haven't we, Evangeline? Yes. My hangover is gone because I had a whiskey on the plane. Now we're going to go to the gym. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go shopping, aren't we? Yes. All right. I'm here. I'm in the hotel. This is the Intercontinental Liviana. I've smaller room this time. Damn. So I'm going to give you a little tour. There's not much to see. Uh, you got like. It's got good, um, you know what I love? Speakers in the bathroom. You shower with the, shower with the tunes. Um, it's quite small, but it's got these cool industrial looking bulbs by your bed. These things are funky from last time. Just pull them out and the light just comes on automatically. Uh, the business happens. Right now, it's just got my shit on it. The top floor has like, an amazing gym, an infinity pool, saunas and stuff like that. So I'm not sure I can take my phone in. Can we go now? <laughs> Check it out. This is like the center of Libyana. The, what's the name of the river, Evangeline? Clean enough to swim in by 2020. Interesting facts. Hello. So now we're going to a party. I'm not quite sure where. Okay, are you there? Mateo's here. Uh, yeah, you are in Libyana, the country of love. The weather's shit, <laughs> but we're still having a good time. Yeah, let's see how this party goes. But tonight is for what? And I wasn't expecting it. Just skipped a massive line to get into this place. I didn't say anything. I didn't film because I didn't want to get kicked out for being coffee. And I didn't think we we're going to get in. But we're here. We're going to party. We're here for work. So this is part of networking. So whatever. Middle of the table. We got our DJ. She's had 10 gin and tonics. I've had more. Excuse me, no you haven't. You had have, like three beers. Same thing. We'll I've had back. a good time, but I'm now tired. Yeah. There's our hotel on the horizon. Courses of three. Oh, it's courses of three. All right, mum. I just want to clarify that we weren't leaving the party because we were too tired and old. We were watching this documentary called right. Losing Sight of Shore. So this is the lady that's actually rowed across from the States to Australia. Are we rowing with her on Lake Bled? Well, yeah, we can. I mean, that's fuck, that's cool. Anyway, that's it. That's all I've got to tell you. So we're balling in the ballroom. <laughs> we're packing bags. We're doing loads of just schleppy admin stuff, but it's getting everything ready for our delegates when they arrive. This is where we spend a lot of time, like the day before people arrive, just in like a, a room like this, no windows, no light, but we're getting stuff done. I had to go to a hotel to pick up this bag that our friends left for us. I asked for a bag and they bought me a bike. <laughs> so some of the hotel just bought me some random person's bike. This is what I was talking about. Run! <laughs> Someone's just driving a tank with a piano on it into the room. <laughs> Morning guys. Um, oh, um, it's early. Got an extra hour of sleep last night because the clocks went back. Um, so today's gonna be really busy, so I really want to show you guys the gym and I'll meet Alex there before we get started. Um, not feeling like it at all. Here's the gym um, with the views. It's like top floor. To be quite honest, I'm too tired to be enthusiastic. But maybe Alex will be. <laughs> That's unknown. What a day! It's been busy. Um, done loads of stuff today. Um, basically, I guess you would have seen like earlier in the film, we went out with Mateo Mateo, which was great fun, but I guess today um, it was crunch time, so like actually get stuck in. There's been a few changes, so rewriting all of the script and making sure it's um, rehearsed. So yeah, it's been busy, but we're about to go now for the opening. I've got a pianist playing. Um, nice big ballroom, so it should be nice. <laughs>
It's the beginning of the 12.30 meeting. I'm just gonna run through the experiences that we have on offer. So we've got archery. Did you hit the target? No, just below. Oh. We've got walks in the rain, which might have to cancel. <laughs> uh, we've got golf carts, uh, pumpkin tic-tac-toe, which is like playing golf with pumpkins, um, an escape room, horse whispering, uh, stable tour. Um, yep, yeah, I think there's something else. Did I say archery? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go, okay, you're listening. Perfect. Eat her. You can't look like you're afraid of that. I know, look, he's like, oh, screw you. And it's, I don't really live there for you. Where are you from? This is the gin tonic on the spoon. Honestly, the same one as me. Jelly is made. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, sun's just rising over Liviana here. I'm really sorry, I didn't film freaking anything yesterday because it was so busy. I'm trying today. We're taking everyone to Lake Bled, which is going to be exciting. And then um, up to the top of a ski resort, which is the closest ski resort to an international airport in the world. And we've got loads of cool experiences at both of those places. So. Um, Stay tuned, I've got to run for breakfast now and um, I'm going to try and film some before we get up to you. This um, well, is one we'd left. It's pretty damn nice. Um, where we had dinner. I can appreciate it now in the police we went to bed. So we're here at Lake Blair. I don't know if you can see that there's actually a rainbow over the uh, church or the monastery which is on the top of that rock. That's Tomej. He's um, the Minister of Tourism here at Lake Bled. We just introduced him in the presentation. And we've got this amazing view. It's a good start to the day, and it was meant to rain, and it hasn't. Got it. Confirmed with the picture that Evangeline. Hi. <laughs> so we are in Lake Bled, which is obviously not as good as Galicia, but still pretty nice. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. You're a man of few words. Yeah, We're we'll in the bar. We can be together. I don't mind, but we are up here in the bubble car, going up to the top of. How do you pronounce it? Something summits. Krimovitz. Krimovitz. And we've got a lovely lunch. Rich, Richo's here. Yep, nice sausage. He's got a sausage. So this is alcohol? Yes. Yeah, I it. think it's... Um... So let's, do, let's, do, let's have a toast. Okay. Before we eat Let's it. have a toast. Okay. Into the mist. Mist. <laughs> Alex is making me go tubing in the rain. If I mess up my new coat, I'm going to be really upset. You're going to mess up your coat, look at it. Don't mess up my gilet. Don't mess up my gilet. My gilet. Okay, it's like cleared up a bit and we're going to go on this little treadmill thingy here on some Ringos. And it's been raining all day, so we're going to get soaked. Just going up on the treadmill. Where are we going, Greg? Oh, rock and roll. I don't know, man. But we're doing it. Bye, Alex. Oh, my God. Oh my god! <laughs> oh damn! That's where you meant to stop. <laughs> Man, you overshot that. Thank <laughs> you! Jack and I are going down there from the mountain in a cable car. It's cloudy and pitch black. It's very spooky. Today has been fun. Um, we were on Lake Bled, we met two Olympic uh, rowers um, who taught us how to like row the best techniques. We heard from Natalia Cohen who rowed the Pacific, um, the first all-girl team to do that. Uh, we went to the top of um, a mountain, had grappa with like this tea, so a super nice drink. Um, obviously did loads of work, had loads of meetings, all the presentations went well, which is good. And now we've got a short window before we go out for dinner tonight. Um, but this event, it's been so much harder than the one of Switzerland to film and like capture everything. It's just been a million miles an hour. I think it's because we're moving around so much in between, you know, today we've been in two locations and in those locations they've been packed with different itineraries. The amount of speaking and presenting and, and introducing of people we've had to do has been like, really high, but it's meant the content's been awesome because for our delegates it's just like all the stimulus, all these interesting people, so it's cool. Um, I had like this injection shot earlier, I, th I think I'll show it just like previous to this. Managed to like, the shot, I went to go in and I just pushed it and it went bang in my face. It's this red black current spirit and I've basically had to hide this for the entire day. I'm really happy it didn't go all down here. But, man, when am I going to learn? 
and this is Liviana Castle where we're gonna have dinner tonight, which is pretty cool. That does not look safe, does it? Guys, so um, yesterday was a really busy day. It was the last day. We always party um, on the last night. I think it's good to show that, you know, we can let our hair down and, and sort of socialise a bit more because for the rest of the event, we're a bit more focused on what we've got to do. Yesterday, we handled all of the transfers, so getting all our delegates home, um, caught up with a few emails. Then, Nard and Ev and I hit the road, and uh, you'll see that here. There you go. It's beautiful. Poor Evangeline. Then we arrived at Therme Olympia. Um, this is where I was a few weeks ago. So the week, or well, a couple of days before my Switzerland video, I was here. I went around every spa hotel um, in Slovenia, pretty much, um, until I found one that I thought was the best fit um, for what we're trying to achieve next year. And it's this hotel. So we arrived and we had an amazing welcome from um, Maya and Matea. Um, and you'll see that here. Wow! That was so good! Basically, we did a briefing where we both um, bring each other up to speed about what our companies are, how we operate and what we want to achieve. And they did theirs by song. So after Matea um, did her song, uh, we went for dinner and then they were like, okay, you need to try gong therapy. Gong therapy, we had to get into our robes, um, into like spa clothes. And then they basically, we got laid down in this really nice sort of cave kind of room, um, really low lighting, laid down. And they play like different instruments, but it's all like gongs or like Tibetan or Bhutanese like instruments that like send you or chill you out because they send like sound waves through you. And it was really, really nice. And she's got an amazing voice as well. So she was singing like some amazing songs at the same time. And like, I was super zen until Evangeline started snoring and that made me laugh. And then I was like, oh, kind of like, okay, I'm, I'm not able to chill anymore. So we've just come down this morning to the herb garden and uh, now we're gonna be preparing our own tea, which is very exciting. So we just basically all held hands around this tree and did breathing exercises and then we just had the green tea looking over that view uh, that was sort of brewing or whilst we were doing the breathing exercises but great start to the day. Now time for breakfast. The Olimia Monastery just to see if there's something we can do here for our event. It's meant to be one of the oldest pharmacies in Europe um, so as the event's well being now time really nicely. It's an alcoholic or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. high yeah, percentage. Yeah. Uh, no, it's 20, 22, 3, 4, 2. Okay, it's okay. not okay. so bad. Uh, we, we could put uh, this in as an experience. What do you think? Caramel? Yeah, I think it's an nice idea. Monastery, chocolate house. Marden loves the loves the deers. Look at him. It's just Marden and me, and there's basically a bunch of kids. So they must be wondering what the hell we're doing. Will it? Yes, it will. <laughs> Morning, guys. So it's another day, another dollar. Um, yesterday, I had that lunch. I think it was the last thing I filmed. And I had to run to the car to speak to our CEO and give him numbers on next year. Um, then loads of work to catch up on. And a quick sauna sesh. Naked sauna. Interesting experience. Uh, got some sleep, but I am tired. It's starting to really wear on me now, this trip. Um, and we're here at a local vineyard. So it's 11am, I think. More wine tasting. <laughs> but it's good wine. Uh, and then we're hopping on a flight tonight. Uh, I've got some time in Ljubljana first. So I get home at like 11, 12. Uh, and that's the end of the trip, so. Which, um, which grapes do you grow then, here? Um, 
And the most uh, Rieslings, Ray Riesling and uh, Italian Riesling. Uh -huh. And then Moscato, Cigalo Moscato and Moscato Ottoman. Uh, I say it's more drinkable than the first one. Okay. Just to swear, if anyone else makes me try any more booze at this time of the morning, I'm going to give up because I had to have that grappa, that local spirit with a father in a monastery yesterday morning. And then this this morning, I was just like, no more, please. But amazing wine and even more amazing scenery. But, yeah. So just checking out this mill, which is like this building 500 years old and they make their own flour. Um, it's pretty amazing it's still functional. And um, these guys live here without, they have some electricity, but they've turned one of the mills to produce electricity for them. And their son did that for them, like amazing. Uh, he's a young guy, like really young. Uh, and then they make flour with the other one and they still make a business out of it. Um, it's right here in the valley. Uh, it's just pure nature. It's just amazing. So now we're at this hilltop castle that we're just checking out. I feel like the opening of our event. But look at these colours. Just amazing. It's chucking it down in the castle. We're looking for the right venue to do a dinner. But everything's like really small and ancient and cold, but we're gonna find it. <laughs> Get in. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How do I lock it? <laughs> Yeah, it's been a great trip. What do you think, Evangeline? So um, we just ended up, I was gonna do a bit of work, and then uh, we met Matei and Matei, uh, who are our partner here, and they took us and just bought a lot of champagne. So me and Ev have got two hours to get our flight. Um, I'm just waiting for her now to come and get in, and then we can hit the road uh, back to the airport and then back home. So this trip's done. We've got one and a half weeks at home until the next one, um, and then we're going to Puglia. It's gone well, we made Target. So all the people we needed to see, get back at 12 tonight, fireworks tomorrow, and then a uh, world travel market. Yeah, one and a half weeks, Puglia, and then maybe two weeks at home, then to Cannes in France, and then we're done for the year. So it went well, I'm happy, and I'll see you guys soon.